Okay, uh, so we are going to start the new lectures, uh, that is the new standard, I think. Uh, this is IS41 uh, Agriculture, and this standard we will uh, discuss uh, the biological asset, the agriculture produce, and you know, and the treatment, okay? So first, uh, this uh, uh, standard applies to biological asset, this is the IS, IS, 41 and this applies to biological assets and to agriculture produce right agricultural produce and we know that biological asset we means living plants and animals while the agriculture produce is actually the output of that biological asset clear so this is the scope actually we are discussing that this applied to biological asset and agriculture produce by biological asset we means a living plants or animals and agriculture produce we means output that biological asset okay this uh, uh, the agriculture produce at 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 the point of harvest so mean that once this uh, the asset uh, the uh, agriculture produce been harvested so it will not uh, the we will not treat them uh, under IS forty IS forty one after that right, so what does harvest means? Harvest is, is harvesting is actually you know uh, the removal of produce from biological asset or the end of biological asset life cycle. In simple word, you can also say that the detachment of uh, produce from biological asset or the cessation of biological asset life process it means that you have to remove when you when you remove the the removal of produce from biological asset okay this this means harvest or the end of biological asset life cycle or life process then we call also this harvest right now the first thing you must remember the first thing you must remember uh that when you're dealing with the biological asset, you should you should understand uh, that uh, what is agriculture activity. If we, when, once you understand this, then definitely you will treat the biological asset properly. So, uh, uh, agriculture activity is you, you know you have biological asset list. This is biological asset. You have biological asset. Okay. Now. If you do management of this biological asset, you know the management of biological transformation of this asset. Clear? When you're doing the biological transformation of this biological asset for the purpose of you know sales, or uh, and to produce uh, and to agriculture produce, or uh, for additional biological assets, uh, then then we call it agriculture activity. If you have this activity. Then you will treat the the uh, the dead biological asset under IS forty one. Okay, let's do some application. Then you understand more. Uh, let's say we have a farmer and the farmer buy a dairy dairy calf. This is the biological asset. Okay, the calf is biological asset. Clear. Now the calf grows into a mature cow. So this is actually the transformation. This is actually what this is a biological transformation because. Uh, the cap is now going to be a mature cow. Okay, you have this thing. This is the growth. The growth is actually a type of value transformation. Now the farmer milks the cow. When it becomes a mature cow, the farmer will get a milk from that cow. So that will be the agriculture produce. Clear? So what we have? This is the this is the biological asset. I I had told you before that this is the biological asset and the biological asset we have calf a small cow smaller cat up this is a small cat up cow it's, it's called calf. now if you do manage the the trans the the the, 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 the what do you call the, the management of the tr value transformation of this particular asset and that is growth and it become cow 
so we call this is agriculture activity right this process this this this, this, this management we call uh, biological this we call agriculture activities now uh, this is the biological asset which we will treat under is 41 because there is biological transformation the management of biological transformation happens so we will treat this under foot is 41 now we will get the milk from this this cow and that milk will be the agricultural produce okay and this will also be treated under is 41 clear okay now uh, let me uh, clarify here that why we we need the agriculture activity to treat the acid a uh, basically acid under is 41 let's say we have a dog this is a dog okay now we know that this is animals this is animal and we know animal in plant is called biological acid okay now this acid if uh um let's say this is a biological asset animal is a biological asset and if we uh, uh, just stop here and think that okay this is the uh, biological asset and we have to treat this under is 41 then it will be wrong because we had to do further analysis okay is there any agriculture activity exist or not if exist then okay it's fine you're right if there is no agriculture activity then you have not to treat this under is 41 okay now let's say this dog is a guard dog I mean this is for security purpose okay and so if this is for security purposes and you are uh, there's no uh, agriculture activities right because we are this is for security purpose and you know uh, the protecting your property and blocking everyone passing by so then you should not apply is 41 this will be treated under is 60 clear now if this acid if this biological acid mean dog is uh is for the some purposes and the purpose is uh, like uh, uh, you have to uh you and the, do you do you have that the dog is in order to produce to produce or raise is uh puppies and sell the puppies so this is part uh, uh you know you need to another uh, biological asset from that asset and definitely there uh, there 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 will be uh, some agriculture activities some biological transformation uh, so from that you will get and this puppies you will sell so there is agriculture activity and if you have agriculture activity then you will treat that asset under is 41 if there is no agricultural activities then definitely you will not treat under is 41 clear now let's move on what we have this is the is 41 applies uh, uh, applies on biological asset throughout its life so mean that you should apply is 41 on a biological asset throughout its life bird bird once the agriculture produce uh, uh, has been harvested then you should treat them under is 41 let's say how let's say this is a uh, let's say wine and in this wine we have some grapes right and these grapes are vegetal uh, mm, okay this me this is the wine and in this wine you have grapes these grapes have now attached to this wine and this is the agriculture produce clear once you have been deattached the grapes then it will become uh, uh, it will now after that you have to treat this under is2 because it will become now inventory for you clear uh, now let's talk about uh, the, the, the uh, initial recognition but let me tell you the recognition criteria which is for all asset and that is uh, first you have to do uh, for recognition criteria the asset must be uh, you know have some future economic benefit the first thing you have future economic benefits from that asset that particular asset the second thing the cost or the fair value of this at that asset must be reliably measured so there should be reliable measurement measurement of that asset and the third one is control if you have all these uh, at the meter criteria then you have to recognize the asset so the biological asset uh, is recognized if a probable the future economic benefits the second the cost or the favorable asset is reliably measured 
And the third one is the entity control the asset. And this is the short for you remember, if you, you want to remember, then you, the asset must control future economic benefit to flow to the entity from that particular asset. And the cost of the asset must be reliably measured. Clear? Okay, now the biological asset, how we initially recognize. So the initial recognition for the biological asset, let me write here, the initial recognition. You must understand this and you must know that how biological asset should be initially measured. So the biological asset will initially uh, measure at fair value, less cost to sell. Clear? This is the initial. And if there is any fair value chain at the initial recognition, then you should record that in the fair, uh, in the proper laws. Clear? Now the subsequent measurement for that asset, for their value asset, subsequent recognition, a subsequent measurement is that at each reporting date or at, uh, at each reporting date uh, that uh, biological assets should be revalued to fair value less cost to sell and, and if there's any change in the fair value then again you have to record that in the profit or loss okay this is the fine initial gain. now you have if you are unable to uh, unable to measure to de determine the fair value uh, less cost to sell at initial recognition so there's some ex uh, share, so some exemption from the fair value less cost to sell at, at initial recognition mean that you are unable to recognize the asset uh, asset uh, 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 determine the fair value less cost to sell at initial recognition then you can use the cost less accumulated depreciation and permanent loss but once you once you determine the fair value calculate the fair value then you have not to revert back to the cost model right uh, one thing more you have to know that uh, we uh, we should not apply the uh, IS 41 on land and building okay land and building will be uh, treated under IS uh, uh 16 property plan equipment or is 40 investment property uh and one thing more you have to understand and that is a barrier uh bare plants uh bare from the plant which are uh when we are using for produce the uh, uh the, the the agriculture produce uh for many years so that will also be treated under is 16. clear we will see this and more detail later on. Now, subsequently, I have told you before that the, uh, the reporting data budget is revalued to fair value, less cost to sell, and the gain or loss which arise during the uh, subsequent measurement should be treated, uh, it should be recognized in the profit or loss. Clear? Uh, what, uh, the, the biological asset are presented, how to present the biological asset? So, the biological asset is presented separately. On the face on the face of the financial statement of financial position because this is the asset and will be with an with an anchor asset clear this is the presentation now we have a question and let me do this question for you guys uh, you have to just take a screenshot discuss the accounting treatment of the above let me do it here down I think we have here let me shake it. Uh -huh, here you see uh, this is the question and the question is uh, about cows so discuss you have to discuss what the accounting treatment uh, the, about the financial statement for the year ended 31st December 2001 clear this is the end of the year now on 1st Jan 2001 the farmer had heard up 10 100 cows all of which were two year old this is the age at this date the fair value list uh, cost to sale of hard was this one this is the um, fair value list cost to sale of the 100 cows on 1st july 2001 the farmer purchased the 20 cows and, and the age of that one is 2.5 means uh, two year uh, two and a half year old and the cost the 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 fair value are the cost would be uh, 60 dollar each now is on the 31st december 2001 three year old cows I mean this is the the market value of uh, the three year old cow is 90 I mean that the the cow can be sold on 90 dollar each if they have three year old okay now the this is the cost of sale the market share 
some uh, cell le left uh, two thousand uh, two percent on mean yield. Uh, okay, the question is very simple. Let me do it for you. This is on the first one one two thousand one. Okay, this is the first initial. Now we have hundred cows. Okay, as I told in the question, and the cows is two uh, two year old. Okay. And the fair value less cost to sell of these cows are hundred. Oh no, sorry, uh, ten thousand dollar. Okay. Now, now, on first July two thousand one, uh, we have purchased twenty cows. Clear. And these cows have two point five year old. Clear. And now the cost is sixty dollar each. Clear? This is the question actually I'm writing. The, the third one we have here is on the 31st December 2001, the three year old uh, old cows and the market price for this is $90. Okay? Each. And we know this, we have some sale tax and that is a two person. Clear, it is cost to sell for us. Okay, what we have to do now, the first thing is cow. An initial recognition, this, you know, the cow is biological asset, cows are biological asset, and biological asset, clear? And you know that we measure biological asset at fair value less cost to sell. Clear? So if we measure the fair value less cost to sell, then the fair value of the uh, that asset will be 20. Uh -huh, 20 initial recognition about this purchase. I'm talking about the purchase. 20 multiplied with 60. And you have to deduct. The selling cost and that will be I think to, if you take if you multiply these positions will be uh, 1200 okay this will be that will be 1200 and uh, 1200 multiply with two persons so it will be 24 so here we will write 24 clear this is the selling cost for you and the, re the initial recognition will be at this amount one one seven six clear now if you see uh we have purchased that on 20 uh, uh and 60 dollars so if you take that amount 1200 and now we have recognized the asset at this amount so there is difference and that difference was be the initial loss initial recognition loss on the budget asset and that will be 24 and that will be recorded on profit or loss. Clear? Now let's move on. We have some subsequent measurement. Okay. What you have to do some subsequent measurement. And the subsequent measurement, as I told you before, that at each year in the asset should be revalued to fair value. Okay, so the biological asset should be revalued to fair value and if there's any change in fair value, it should be recorded in proper law. So what we have here, this is the, the 100 uh, cows we have before, 20 we have purchased, the total will be 120 cows, clear? And now the market price for these cows will be uh, $90, okay? That will be the ninety dollars. So the value will be one one a. Okay. Now uh, that according to the standard that we have to deduct the cost to uh, cost uh, to sell. Uh, so that will be the actual value. So less two person and that is the two person has the tax we have to deduct. So if you apply two tax, this will be I think two sixteen. And so the fair value. Less cost to sell will be, uh, I think this will be the 10, um, 5, 8, 4. Okay, that will be on the statement of 
profit or loss we record the asset value asset at this amount clear now okay fine this is we have done till now and now let me check here let me write here wait 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 and now we have already called last an initial recognition and that was uh, 24 now let's uh, check that how many last we uh, we, we did on the subsequent measurement when you subsequently recognize the asset so the subsequent recognition of the asset is fair value less cost to sell as one uh, ten five air four that we have here you see that amount i have put here clear now and if you remember that and initially the asset value was the biological initially initial cost was uh ten thousand clear and then after that we have uh 20 more cows and the cost of that what we have recognized was a new purchase let me write here a new purchase was one one mm, seven six so the value will be like one 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 six that is the initial value but at the year end the value become like this and there's some differences and the difference is i think if you deduct this amount from this amount you will get five two this is the loss but this loss we will call the subsequent loss and should be recorded in profit or loss this is the question that's a very simple question first you have to do the initial recognition and initial recognition if there's any change in fair value then you should record a proper loss and subsequent measurement you have to record uh, re you have to uh, revalue the asset biological asset to fair value less cost to sell and if there's some changes uh, between the initial recognition values and uh, the final values then there will be subsequent uh, loss and you regard in a proper or loss clear now here uh, this is the one question we did and now let's move on what we have another thing that is uh, i think we have another question yeah here you see just see the question you see a uh, cause biological asset fine we did and initially recognized at fair value less cost to sell clear now cow uh, cow purchase at the initially recognized at this amount why this amount because 20 multiply with 60 and you have to deduct the two person they have already uh, they have deducted so that just multiply with 98 person and you will get that amount now the immediate give rest immediate uh, immediate loss of 24 that is the two person and that should be recorded in the profit or loss now at the year in when a subsequent measurement the whole heart should be revalued to fair value uh to say and any gain or loss should be recognized in the profit or loss and if you know uh, that initially the asset uh, was uh, mm, uh, 100 and then uh, 20 we have purchased so it became 120 if you multiply that so you will get the whole amount and again they have just uh, mm, uh, they have took the 98 instead of deducting the two person and that amount should be recognized in profit loss so if you see here this is the loss two percent of that amount uh, and you see here at the year in the value is this and at the initial stage the value is 10 and that one and there's the difference between these two figures you have this amount and that will be recorded as a loss subsequent loss and the profit and loss now we have another question i have written this question again here uh, i think here here you see this is the question and and this is question with sample again we have here the good wine is a question and let me uh, uh, requirement requirement is discuss the accounting treatment of the bow and the financial statement of the good wine and the year in so the year in s 30 june 12 uh, 2002 uh, good wine is a company that draws and harvests grapes and the grass wines which uh, which produce a new harvest of grapes each year are typically replaced every 30 years so this is the bear plant clear this is a bear plant because we are using from and, and i told you before that we apply is 16 here on bear plant uh the harvest crepes are sold to our producers uh, with regards to property plant equipment good wines account for the land using revaluation models and mean they are using revaluation model for land 
and all other class of assets should be using the cost model. So except land, all the remaining uh, uh, class of assets should be uh, uh, treated under uh, using the uh, cost model, right? Now on the 30th June 2001, and this is the initial, I think this is, uh, so this is the initial uh, at the beginning of the year. The gray wines had carrying value, so the gray fine means this is the uh, bear plant uh, carrying amount is 30th sorry uh, three hundred thousand dollars and the remaining useful life is 30 20 years now okay let me do the grapes on the vines which are generally harvested in august uh, in august each year had fair value is five hundred thousand dollars the land uh used for growing the grapes wines have fair value this one this is the initial value now on the 30th june 2002 this is the year in the grapes uh with a fair value of 100 were harvested early due to the unusual weather condition the grapes left on the grapes uh, wine that had a fair value of this amount now the land had a fair value of this is the increase in the fair value 2.1 million uh, 1 uh, million now it is uh, it is selling cost negotiable should be ignored the question is here the first one we have here is grapes wine grapes wine and you know this is pear plant and why we call this pear plant because used to produce agriculture produce over many years so we call this pear plant now if we use uh, this uh, is 16 for this and that is property plan equipment and we know that uh, we have to uh, depreciate the asset okay and for this we are using cost model because the question told us that for land they only use a uh, revaluation model but for the remaining they are using the cost model and according to the cost model we have here cost and the cost is 300,000 and if you depreciate this asset by 20 years now that will be 15,000 depreciation and the carrying value will be on you know this is the carrying value on the on the 30th says 2002 will be 285 and this amount will be recorded in statement of financial position and this will be recorded in profit or loss so this is the first thing what we have done is that is uh mm -hmm, we are this one we have completed this one great swine clear now let's move on we have another thing and that is the grapes on uh where is that okay and 30 june uh, 30 june to the grapes with a fair value not here 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 are uh, the grapes on the vine which are generally harvested in august the fair value of the that for this one five hundred thousand and uh and later on if you see that uh, the grapes left on the grapes when had a fair value this one so let we have to do this one graphs on the van clear you know this is the graphs on the van is the biological asset this is the biological asset and you know that we are uh, revalue the biological asset at the reporting date to favorable cost to sell so the initial value if i told you this is the initial value at, uh, which is 500 here you see the yeah. the grapes on the vents which are generally harvested in a gas and uh, in a gas each year the had fair value this is the fair value and now at the year end mean 30th june at the reporting date you can calculate the reporting 30th june 2002 the value become uh how much is 550 a uh, 520 sorry and we have here again and that is uh mm -hmm. how much 20 20 000. and that should be recorded in profit or loss okay this is the second part okay now let's uh, do the another part and that is land if you remember that they're using revaluation model for this landmark okay 
And if you revalue the asset, and the, uh, the initial value of the uh, asset was two million, the land value you see here, let's see growing a little bit, and it had a fair value. The fair value before was initial value was two million. But if you see here, the land had fair value two point, and that is amount related to this date, and that is the reporting date, and that is thirty, and there two. So 2.1 million. So we have here again gain and that is 0.1 million. But you remember that when, when, when you're using a revaluation model, then the gain should be recorded in OCI, other comprehensive income. Clear? Uh, the fourth part is graves. If you see here graves, the graves is, uh, okay, let me check here. The grapes with a fair value 100. This is the fair value of the grapes. And you know the grapes are agriculture produce. And agriculture produce should be measured at fair value cost to sale. And gain or loss uh, to profit or loss. We regard initial value is the initial value is how much 100. The grapes with a 100 were harvested each year and it's usually very condition. And that is the fair value, the actual value here. Initial recognition of this value is hundred dollars. Clear? And before it was zero, so now it's hundred. So there's a fair value change of hundred dollars, and that should be recorded in profit or loss. Now, once the asset, I mean the basically the grapes have been harvested, so the harvested grapes should be treated now under IS2. And the cost will be considered 100. Clear? This is the cost will be considered. Till here, we have IS41. Now we have IS2. Okay? And this is the actual accounting treatment. Okay, let's uh, check the answer here. Uh, this is the answer you see. The land is accounted. Uh, you can see it by yourself that let me do it for you. Land is the first thing you had considered I was 41, uh, for, uh, 16 for this and using revaluation mark because given the, uh, the question and the gain or loss and that's what it should be treated in other comprehensive income. Now at 30th June 2002, this is here in the land revalue to this amount and the gain of 100 means 0 0.1 should be recorded at other comprehensive income. Okay. Now the grapes when, which is a bare plant, you see here, uh, is a bare plant, and, and therefore as we counted under IS-41. Uh, except for land, I told you before that they are using revaluation model for land only. For the remaining, you have to use the cost model. And the cost model, economic cost model, you have to depreciate the asset. And once you depreciate the asset, then you will have depreciation of 15,000. If you divide 300,000 by 20, then you will get this amount, and this will be uh, recorded in property or law. And the carrying amount of asset, which should be recorded in the statement of financial position, will be 285. With 300 less 15,000 depreciation, then you will get this amount. Clear? Now, the grapes growing on the vents of biological asset, as I have told you before, uh, they should be revalued at the reporting date at the year end to fair value less cost to sell. And any gain should be recorded in profit or loss. So uh, the good uh, uh, wine vertical asset should be therefore revalued to this amount. And before the amount was 500, you see here the initial value. And these are differences, which is the positive differences. Gain should be recorded in profit or loss of 20,000. Now the grapes on the agricultural grapes are agriculture produced and should initially be recognized as fair value to profit or, uh, fair value less cost to sell. And any gain should be recognized as profit or loss. And the harvested grape should initially be recognized at this amount because uh, uh, the gain or loss should be recorded at this amount. But once the the the, 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 the grapes has been harvested, then it should be treated under I after that onward. You should treat this under IS2, and the initial cost will be hundred dollar, a hundred thousand uh, dollar. The another thing we have here in this standard is grant. Okay, so government grant. Government grant. This the grant is uh, related to biological asset. Biological asset, and at this biological asset. Okay. Now, if this biological asset is measured 
at cost model if you are using cost model okay then you have to treat this uh, grant under account for under uh, IS 20 but if you are measure at fair value less cost to save then you have to use IS 41 criteria now if the IS 41 according as well, if the grant is unconditional I mean there is no conditional no condition and if there is condition then you have different treatment if they are unconditional then you have to recognize when you have to recognize you have to recognize uh, the grant and profit applied rise when it become receivable and about the condition then you have to recognize it into proper loss once the condition have been met so when the condition met then okay you, you should recognize and it has been written here let me read for you guys are the government grants related to biological asset and much at cost model then uh, the cost model means that uh, costless accumulated depreciation and cumulative impairment then it should account for under IS 41 uh, 20 said that it was accounting for grant is another standard and disclosure of government assistance so that which I have to read okay using cost model then you have to treat the grant according to the the standard specifically for the government grant now if the grant is uh, related to budget asset and their budget asset is measured at fairly less cost to sell then you have to treat the grant under IS 41. Now if this unconditional grant then okay if it's conditional grant then okay what you have to do when it become receivable under unconditional then you have to recognize and if it's conditional then you have to recognize that as in problem loss that grant into problem loss when the condition met. Uh, regard, uh, regarding the disclosure, what you have to disclose to for the entity, uh, the entities uh, must disclose the find the description of each group of asset, basically asset. You have to describe. Uh, you have to uh, disclose the description of each group of uh, biological asset. The second thing you have to disclose is the method and significant assumption. Uh, use when determining the fair value that is I I first 13 uh, how to determine the fair value you have to told all the exemption uh, the assumption you have been taken for the determine uh, determination of that fair value now the reconciliation of the carrying amount of asset between the beginning and the fair should also be disclosed to the user so this is the standard uh, we have just uh, completed the standard and we will do some past paper question and some other numericals but I have just uh, done the uh, theoretical part and I have done some two uh, small small and a pity question uh, so I think this is enough uh, we will continue the next lecture with a new standard and once we complete all the standard then after that we will do some fast question and a complete exam pattern question okay thanks what thanks uh, uh, for watching goodbye